guys, Long Haul Larry. I am here at the house, and look what I'm doing. It is time to pull the snow track off of this thing. I just haven't had any time off this all since winter. I've been working ever since. I've had like a weekend off or something like that here and there, but you know, by the time I come home, I basically work on Big Blue or something. I really have not even had a day off to myself, so I haven't even messed with this thing. Um, I have fired it up a few times and um, since winter time and just let it run and stuff a little bit, but I haven't really messed with it. So I am going to be pulling the track off and the front ski and then putting all those parts on. Now I did not put this stuff on. I did not take this, you know, take the wheels and stuff off, put this on. Um, we'll figure out how it goes. I know it's the front ski, I mean that's pretty self-explanatory, I believe. That stuff comes off. We'll see. Um but then uh, the back here, it's just the main pivot point. That's where the swing arm mounts. And then where the shock usually goes for the wheels, there's actually a, um, a steel bar that goes there, and it will just come out. So that's pretty easy. I think those uh, two pins there, and I think the whole track just comes right off, I believe. So that has come off, and I can store this away for the summer months here and do a little dirt bike riding. And uh, I just got to feed the brake line. The brake line is actually up here. And it's hooked in here because when you have this track on, this is your only brake. Instead of being a front brake, it actually brakes on the, the track. There's a brake set back there. So I got to take that off. And I have a caliper and everything that goes on the front brake. And then I'll hook the rear brake back up. So hopefully the guy who did all this, he kind of has things zip tied and stuff together. So hopefully everything will be all good. And uh, I can figure out how this all goes together. Um, I removed all because these have heated handle handle uh, handlebar grips. But I think I'm going to wreck them trying to get them off. So I'm actually just going to tape over the ends of the electrical connections. And just zip tie these on and just leave them on here. Um, I had to remove this brake cable. It was all fed up through here. And it went up to the front brake because um, in the snow there is no front brake. It's hooked up to the brake on the track. So that comes back out. And then all there is is just one little bolt up here. And then the large pin that goes through the main frame of the, the bike and goes back there. And I think she's ready to pull out. We're going to give her a try. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. crazy it's pretty crazy how that little thing right there brand new one is nine thousand dollars that's how much a brand new dirt bike is all right guys I got all the pins in the top shock one I put the bottom shock one in and it was a booger to figure out how to get this the large one with swing arm pin in because the shock was pushing it back. But it just stuck a strap on there, put it on the frame, and just gave her a couple clicks and just pulled it because the shock is pushing down on the swing arm. So I just gave her a couple clicks and I was able to pull it right in position and I just pushed her right on through. So I just got to put all the nuts on there, tighten everything up. But look at how small this thing is. It's crazy. Just pull the shaft out and here in the front. Ski just comes right off. I'm gonna put a zip tie through here to make sure I don't lose any of these bushings come winter time. That wouldn't be good. There we go. One ski. Alright, get the front tire and put her on. Well, there we go, guys. Got her all put together. Brakes are all bled. 
is ready to go. Boy, it's quite smaller without that track on there. But she's all ready to go. Um, I am going to get a different set of handlebars. I These got these heated uh, hand grips on them. And I think what I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna mess around with it, but I want to take these off so they don't get damaged and everything because that's nice having heated hand grips in the winter. But I just have them up there. I'm just going to go take it for a spin quick. That works. I found a little mud. It's not not as bad standing up as it is in the snow. But it would still be better if I had to hire. If I was higher. I think it pulls pretty good wheelie in second gear though. It does pretty good. Do you hear me out the field out there across the road? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I took off and was going across. I kicked her in a second and brought the front end up pretty good. And then I turned around, I got into some bad mud over there. I kind of had to turn around or something and get out of there. And uh, got out of there and stuff, and I turned around and I spun around and I took off and then I kicked second gear and I, rah, I had pretty good up, I had it up there pretty good. But working good.